the wife is traveling for the weekend, and we've got the house to ourselves. We're both a little bit bored, so I think I'm going to try to make a plane. What do you think about that? Any good girl? Are there squirrels? Are there squirrels? <laughs> now, I've actually tried this once before, and it did not go well. The goal was to make a like box plane, something without using instructions at all, without any kind of plans, and it failed. I actually ended up on the roof of a neighbor's house. I don't remember if I had the footage left over or anything, but that, so that didn't go well. So instead, I'm gonna try to make something with some basic plans that I will now find online. And not even 10 minutes into researching, I decided it was too complicated to scratch build. So I decided to pull this guy out of the garage and I'm going to try to fix it up instead. The thing that's most wrong with it is that there's not a motor mount on it. So I got to figure out a way to kind of jerry-rig a motor mount um, that'll fit in here. And then the rest should all be pretty good. Like the, except for like, it's starting to split a little bit along these. So I got to figure out if I could just glue that or something like that. And then um, everything else is pretty much good to go. The elevons are already wired in and then I can just need a, a receiver and a motor. So let's try that. This was another wing I had tried out. This is the uh, ready-made RC Recruit. And it's obviously not in very good shape, but I've got this Cobra Motors 2213-2000 kV motor, which is apparently ludicrously fast for planes. And then a big old 50 amp BL Heli um, Emax ESC. So, Let's see if I can steal some of these components and use that uh, to now juice up the, uh, the Blade Theory Type W. So now I just gotta figure out a way to make this compatible with the Theory. So with this piece, I think that I can basically get a, an extra plate drilled in kind of back here coming out this way, um, maybe with some sort of support struts or something like that. And then that piece will then glue onto the wing like so, so that we'll have the, the motor on there. So I gotta go figure out a way to mount this up to that without uh, structurally com compromising too much. So this is like door material, so it's nice and lightweight. So this will be the, that will replace this back piece. So I'm just gonna cut a piece off and we'll use that to kind of support it there. And then I gotta figure some way to like make that um, L joint. So this will be here and the wood would come back out that way. So now that's essentially going to sit right here. Might have to clean that up a little bit. And then I've got to figure out a way to get this to mount off of it like that. job done I think. Is it supposed to be that high? Or do I totally screw this up and it needs to be like this? Bet you that's how it's supposed to be. Hmm. I mean I guess if I give it a little bit of up tilt it will still pull. I don't know. I never said I was an expert people.
Okay, now I just gotta spend like 45 minutes trying to figure out how to make the right mix mode. Okay, I've just finally gotten all of the control surfaces working right. Right L right Elevon. I've got 70% of on it. Left Elevon. Pull back, push forward, throttle. So it should conceivably be ready to fly. So I don't think I have any more of like the canopies that come with this. I might actually look into buying one of those, but um, this is actually pretty well friction fit in here. Like in flight, it's not gonna come out. Um, I don't know if I have another solution, maybe just some tape or something for now. Not really that worried about it. <coughs> um, and then this is probably a horrible idea to hot glue the uh, receiver to the ESC, but eh, I'm not. I'm planning on flying this even flat, flat of sight. And then the uh, the center of gravity points are right here. There's a little nubby there. And if I set this down for a second. It's actually, with this battery anyway, it's slightly nose heavy, which is perfect. Like that's exactly what you want, especially with this little bit of up tilt on the, the back motor. So I'm pretty actually thrilled about that. I think it'll be great. So I'm gonna charge up some batteries and I'm gonna also bring a drone or two with me because inevitably this is gonna be a disaster and I want something to fly. So we'll take the blade a drone or two and some extra batteries and we'll go fly and have a good time. Predictions. I predict that it's gonna actually fly. I think it's gonna fly. I think it's gonna be super sketchy. And I think that we'll get like a half a battery in before I decide to do something really stupid or have a catastrophic failure, one of the two. And it's gonna plummet, smash into a million pieces, and I'm not gonna fly planes again for the next freaking six months. Like, that is, that is, I think that's pretty reasonable. I wanna know what you guys think, so if you're at this point in the video, pause right now, go down in the comments below, and leave your prediction with like a caption like, prediction, it's gonna smash into a million pieces, you did a great job, it's gonna work. I, I wanna hear what you think before we actually get there. And then afterwards, you can leave it a second comment and just say, yep, it was exactly what I thought, or, oh, you did a better job than I thought, or, <laughs> something. Anyway, let's get over to the park and uh, see what happens. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Nobody here, which means we can smash stuff into the ground. Just FYI, if you ever find that your Tyrannus battery is too low, you can stick a Fat Shark goggle battery in there because it's also a two cell. Super classy, I know. So, I was thinking to myself on the way over, I should probably start with with uh, five inch props. And then I was like, what am I, some kind of chicken? So I'm going straight to six inch butter cutters. All right, if you didn't make your last second prediction, now's the chance. We're gonna destroy it now. So it just starts spinning as soon as I throw it, which I've had this happen before when I tried to use uh, like Racecraft 5051s on a plane and it spun out just instantly. So I'm gonna try down propping a little bit and see what that does. And lucky for me, I found some super old school HQ durable props in the car, which are like the only by blades that I could find here on a short notice. So we'll see what that does instead. Cause what's happening is weird. It doesn't seem, like it seems to be like a torque thing, like not a, it's not doing like a tail wag or something like that. It's just like rolling over instantly. So I don't know, again, my plane acumen is not good enough to really know what's going on. So I've just got to try to kind of try stuff until it works, which is not a very good scientific method. Well, there goes another uh, 12 months of planes for me. Never gonna touch it again. I think the issue was that the plane was tail heavy and when it uh, would try to take off, it would just, all of the weight would go back and then it would start rolling over. So um, 
I know that the the stock motor that comes with the Theory W is a 2204 2300 kV so a very small lightweight motor and this is a 2213 20, 2000 kV so it's much much meatier um, and I think it's just pulling all of the weight way too far to the back and so like I even like progressively like cut foam out and push the battery further and further forward and it was not having it so then eventually <clears throat> one of those crashes yoinked uh, a cable off the ESC which is kind of sketchy to me because it's like it just looks like a cold solder joint, not more than anything else. But uh, I don't really feel like fixing it right now. And so that's going to do it for me for tonight. Uh, so I'm going to go fly real quads. Here I am having a great flight. Um, my battery's getting low, so I'm like, okay, I gotta do, I'm gonna do one more thing, one more thing that I wanted to do from the beginning, and wha-bam, smash into the tree. Well, we got that back, so at least we had some minor success with uh, some drone flying. Not much with plane flying, but that's okay, because this channel's about FPV and not line of sight planes, so that's okay. I guess I'm gonna wrap it up, head home, relax for the rest of the evening, and you guys stay flying.